Alright guys, welcome to another beer review, and uh, today it's the first time going over to Hot Purse Brewery out of Hinley, um, somewhat local brewery to me. Uh, this can was kindly picked up for me by my good friend Adam from Mersey Beers, links will be down below, and I think I might have had like one or two of uh, Hot Purse Beers when I've like been uh, waiting for either the bus or train home from Wigan, because I'm sure they've been uh, on cask or keg at Wigan Central the times that I've been there and I'm sure um, John from Northern Beer Temple also stocks them but I don't think I've ever actually reviewed one so this is the Porteresque which is described as a milkshake porter Porteresque is a full-bodied milkshake porter with flavours of chocolate rounded off with a smooth milky sweet finish and it's basically brewed of oats and lactose 5.5% ABV Best before is October 2020. Lovely artwork there. And um, yeah, just in the middle of doing myself a, well, doing everyone, I should say, a uh, steak and alpine. Because uh, uh, it's the first day I've actually been allowed out after self isolation. So I was picking a few things mm -hmm. up for people. I thought I'd have a bit of a walk as well. Uh, so I thought I'd, I'd give this a try. Uh, the Winter Ruby Ale from. Um, Robinsons, which they brewed for um, the co-op. So uh, yeah, I had a few sugs there. It wasn't too bad and put the rest into me steak and ale pie. And uh, this beer, by the way, cost £3.20. I can't remember what supermarket it was, whether it's like a long dish or something like that. I'm not too sure, but massive, massive thank you, Adam, for this. So when I finish this review, going to give me... Uh, Beef and I'll mix a quick stir, have a cigarette, and then start getting ready to uh, to work from home. But we won't tell anyone that. It's our secret. So, there we go. So, a milkshake porter. I'm interested by the concept of it. So, beer in the glass then. And, uh, yeah, that is looking pretty much jet black. If not, once I've had a few sips, I'll probably realise that's like a dark brown ruby. Uh, sort of looking beer, but it's looking nice in the glass indeed with about one finger's worth of a beige tan looking head So let's see what we get on the nose. I need to do the washing up as well. Shit. Anyway, let's give it a sniff I'm getting like a sweet vanilla vibe coming through There's like some slight dark malt a little bit chocolatey Almost like grated chocolate yeah, there's admittedly not much going on on the nose right now, but what is there is really nice, pleasant and laid back, so let's see what it tastes like. Cheers guys, and cheers Adam. Oh wow, what it lacks on aroma. It sure as hell makes up for on the actual beer itself. Oh wow. That body is fantastic. Do you know what it's reminded me of? The body you sometimes get from one of the uh, Mikla Beer Geek variations. Now I don't mean that like it's a really heavy full bodied because it's just a 5.5% porter but it's like, you know when you've got drinking chocolate, the powder, and you put a little bit too much in, and you get that sort of like texture. It's like hot milk with a bit too much cocoa powder in, so you get a lovely sort of almost, you could almost bite into it. But yeah, chocolate, vanilla, that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm getting like a big blue ribband flavour as well, which definitely appeals to me. They've just used just the right amount of lactose, where it doesn't impart too much of a flavour, but you definitely know it's there. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And there isn't even any vanilla in there, but it's got a really nice sort of like 
you know, the vanilla extract. <coughs> Smooth, silky. Mm. That is an absolute banger. It really, really is. That is fantastic. Right, I'm going to put it out there. I'm not going to use this point as a way to detract from this beer, but if they included coffee in this beer, let's just say Common Grounds by Magic Rock would have their work cut out. I just can't believe how much of a body it's got for a 5.5% porter. Milkshake porter, yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's just perfect. The name is perfect for the beer. Now, you sometimes run the risk of, like, expected too much when you see a milkshake porter. Because how great does that sound? But I'll tell you what, they've absolutely pulled that off. That is pure magic. Fantastic stuff. And £3.50 in a 440ml can. Absolutely amazed balls. What? Yeah, I never said amazed balls and I'm regretting it. Shut up, you. But, um, there's no one there. It's called acting. Yeah, that's magic. That's absolute magic. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Adam, if you're in that area again, pick yourself up a Pick yourself up a few cans of that. If they've got a web shop, I shall definitely, definitely be putting this into the basket. Yeah, these guys are out of uh, the Hindley Business Centre in Platte Lane, Hindley, Wigan. Not sure if they've got like a tap room. Not that right now makes a difference because as of recording this, we're in lockdown. But um, yeah, lovely stuff. I want more of this. That is, pe oh, it's just great. It's absolutely great. <laughs> lovely lovely stuff so yeah it's safe to say aside from wanting coffee in there that's not gonna i'm not gonna even like use that against a review that to me is just a perfect 10 out of 10. that's probably one of the best porters that i have had in a long time that's gorgeous it's got like it's got characteristics of like adjunct adjunct imperial porters but it's just been done with the only real sort of like additional additive would be the lactose everything else is just down to the, the malt the hops and the yeast slight yeah it's got a slight earthiness just to help level it so it doesn't come too sickly sweet but yeah man that's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous fantastic stuff 10 out of 10 if you can get your hands on it highly highly recommended um if the guys have got a web shop and they deliver uh throughout the uk highly recommended um and anybody locally to the brewery who can get hold of this give it a go because that's gorgeous and another example of this is coming from the person who isn't the biggest fan of cask beers imagine that beer on cask Oh my word, that's good. Lovely, lovely stuff. Adam, thank you so much. Um, I made the right choice with this one. I've got a mango and passion fruit milkshake IPA from them, which I'm looking forward to as well. But yeah, Hophurst Brewery. Highly, highly recommended if you can come across this. Rarely, don't do it literally though, because that's dirty. Anyway, why do I keep coming up with ejaculation jokes? What's that, sorry? Yeah, I know I'm human, scum. You don't need to remind me. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching, 10 out of 10, check out the brewery, massive thank you to Adam, and uh, yeah, I shall see you all later, cheers.